house, the first thing you want to do is do the first four impression indicators on their piano. You can tell a lot just by these indicators. So the case, the keys, the tone, and the feel. First of all, you look at the case of the piano, make sure everything looks right, make sure there are no uh, big rings where they've been storing their uh, sodas on the piano, make sure that there's no water damage visible on the front of the piano. And then look at the keys. Let's make sure that the keys are all level, that they're not um, sitting like this and like this and maybe broken off or missing. You want to make sure the keys are there and that they play right. And then you want to go to the tone. Just take it a minute and play each one of the keys on the piano. Maybe starting down the low bass and just run up the piano like this. Make sure you have a consistent consistent tone from the low end all the way to the high end and how do the keys feel are they are they going down coming up are they sticking you can find a lot of problems right here um, you want to listen to the feel and the tone of the action and to do that you can play some chords so we'll play some uh, chords maybe use the pedal as well so you can Just checking the tuning of the piano and the feel and if you have a friend who plays or if you play well enough, go ahead and sit down and just play some songs and, and just get a feel for the piano. You want to make sure that all of those things are in place before you move into opening the piano. At this point, you may know this isn't the piano for me. The worse the piano is in tune means probably they have not kept it up in tune. So you want to make sure that the piano is fairly good in tune, fairly nicely uh, playing the keys, the action doesn't have clicks in it, um, it plays smooth, it plays quiet, and if all those things check out and you think, this is something that I would want in my house, you got to open it up and check the inside.